this potential. Sixth man of the year is breaking all the records. Tyler Hero, the best off the bench scorer in the NBA this year. Coming in off the bench, I can be that spark. Hero fires it up with the buzzer. As a new dad, he is playing for something even bigger. It's the best feeling, you know, in the world. And now he has a why. While never forgetting about those around him. We're not just basketball players. A lot of us love to give back and be a part of this whole city. They all start with this. They all start in the community. Thank you, And continuing to put his own stamp on his style. The winner for best dressed, Tyler Hero. In year number three, his skills are limitless. Oh, I went in! <laughs> Making shots when he's not even trying. He's super talented. He has all the ability in the world. He's spent a perfect year so far for me being able to mesh in with these great group of guys. Inside the Heat, Tyler Hero. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. In his third season with the Miami Heat, Tyler Hero is shining brighter than ever before, primarily leading the second unit. He is breaking records and is already leading the way for the Sixth Man of the Year Award. He had a transformative summer, getting his mind and body right, but his biggest change came in a very small package when his daughter was born in mid-September. Here we go, gang, in three, two. Tyler, back in the fall, September to be specific, uh, the most wonderful thing in the world happened. Yeah. You became a father. Talk to me about this beautiful little girl, Zaya Elise Hero, and what you're loving most about being a dad. I mean, I love every part of it. You know, it's, it's the best feeling, you know, in the world, as, as you know. I got a lot of favorite, you know, favorite things about it, but I think just being able to come home, you know, every single day, you know, from work or if it's a road trip, being able to come home to her, it's amazing. He's growing into who he's going to be in this league. I think we're all proud of him, especially me. And now he has a, he has a why. And you started off right before she was born with a mission. Yeah. And it was about changing your body, elevating your game. It's my first real off season where I'm able to, you know, focus on, you know, different things that I want to work on. One is being able to get stronger. He's added, you know, 10 plus pounds of muscle. That was one of his important goals. Every day, he's just been on himself, on himself, on himself, waking up early in the morning, and late at night. And uh, he's really developed that, that ownership in his craft. He is a workaholic uh, in trying to refine his game. The piece many believe will make this team go from good to elite is Tyler Hero. This summer was really big for, for me personally to keep my body together, try to take a leap in my game, make that next step. I think it's been going well so far, but just continuing to get better and, you know, I'm not where I want to be yet. Another opportunity to get better presented itself over the summer. Heat guard Tyler Hero playing for head coach Eric Spolster this week as part of the USA Select team put together to help the national team get ready for the Olympics. It's unique because I'm able to, you know, just continue to, you know, build a, a strong relationship with Coach Bo. You know, I plan on, you know, playing for him for a while, and, and that's my plan, and I, I know I hope that happens. So I think this experience for both of us is, is big. There is absolutely nothing you could do during a summer that could surpass the type of uh, experience uh, that not only Tyler uh, will get, but all the guys from the select team competing as the, the very best that we have in this country. Those guys who, who went over to Tokyo, to be able to, you know, compete against those guys for a couple of days and, you know, I played really well out there and it just gave me more confidence, you know, that I belong and I can be, you know, just as good as those guys. Do you want to be with those guys right. in the next Olympics? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah, of course. That banner? It's, it, it's, it's nice to see that thing yeah. go up for Bam and yeah. realize there's a possibility because you're already in the system yeah. for that to be for you, right? Yeah, no doubt. First, just to see Bam's name up there is amazing. You know, having having his name in the banner so early, you know, that would be a dream come true for me as well, you know, hopefully in a couple years.
As your time in the NBA has grown, so has your brand, how much do you enjoy that aspect of what this platform provides for you? Yeah, um, it's really important. You know, that was, you know, something that me and, you know, my team kind of, you know, wanted to, to emphasize going in, into the league. You know, I feel like I can be, you know, really marketable, not just in Miami, but everywhere, you know, across the globe and trying to just be a part of something great. You know, we feel like we have a great brand and a great platform to be able to push our brand. So the brand is always evolving, I should say. Yeah, I need some of that goat fuel, by the way. We got just you. Get me going. You know, I'm working hard. Yeah, we here. got you. Television, radio, <laughs> yeah, TV no, show. No. Get your boy rolling. <laughs> Uh, we, we can't have an Inside the Heat Tyler Hero without talking about fashion. The winner of the 2021 SI Award for Best Dressed is Tyler Hero! Talk to us about uh, what you think about as you continue to put a stamp in the fashion world with your own tastes. Growing up, that was like one of my you know, things that my dad always taught me was just being presentable. You know, I'm a basketball player. When I was younger, obviously, it was, it was a dream. So uh, just being presentable and then putting my own twists and turns to what I wear. I just try to show up classy, presentable, and rock out. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Tyler Hero is a leader when it comes to heat culture and is always willing to do whatever it takes to help his team. This boy wonder is surrounded by many teammates that are helping him grow along the way as he becomes the star he is destined to be. He looks and feels different this season, and that credit goes to his hard work and determination. In year three, you are clearly shining. That that oftentimes is a true indicator of the good player versus the great player. That that jump that a player makes in that third year. What do you feel different on the court? Uh, just just more comfortable. The game has really slowed down, and then just more you know role clarity of you know what my role is. Into the ten years. Tyler Hero makes it look easy. It's not. Just having a great, you know, great group of guys around me, teammates, coaches, staff, really just everybody. It's been a perfect year so far for me personally, just being able to mesh in with these, these great group of guys. Where do you think the greatest growth is for you from year one to now? I think just being more mature, you know, on the court. Starting, you know, may have a couple of nights where I start slow, but I'm able to keep playing, um, stay confident, and, you know, I may miss the first five and I'll make the next six or whatever it may be, but just staying confident and knowing that I can impact the game in other ways besides just scoring the ball. Hero putting it on a silver platter for a bam throwdown. Being the top reserve for this team, being the top reserve in the NBA, and you guys were having this conversation, uh, has its plus. Oh, I went in! <laughs> Taylor! hero making shots when he's not even trying but you're also most nights replacing Kyle what are you learning being basically Kyle's replacement when he moves off the floor what what is injected into your space because I mean I've learned a lot already from Kyle just the way he's he's so even killed throughout throughout every game every practice never gets too high never gets too low so just just watching him every, every day I'm able to, to learn a lot Love the mentorship. For me, I just go out there and do who I, be who I am. You know, I can't be anybody else. I can go out there and I lead by example. And my example is just to work hard. How do things change when you guys are on the floor together? Uh, I mean, he helps me get into my spots. You know, he, he'll he hit me in transition or he'll, he'll you know, get me to a scoring area. And he just makes it easy for me. Fast pace, Lowry, hero, triple. Got it! Tyler Tuesday is still a thing, I understand. Tyler Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. And so when you think about your time with Jimmy, how has that evolved and what does he continue to instill in you? The way he just motivates me and pushes me every single day. You know, everybody has their own ways of leading, you know, and, and, and Kyle and Jimmy are different in their ways of leading, but um, I think the two of them, I can learn from them, you know, on any given day, I can learn something new. Tyler, touchdown pass to Jimmy, throw down. There's a lot of monikers that kind of flip around you, the nickname status. Where are we right now? 
because you, you're not a baby anymore. Right? Those <laughs> days are over, right? So what are you going with? What's what's the the best term if we're not calling you by your government name? <laughs> What should we call uh, whatever, whatever they want, man. Whatever they want. Baby goat, boy wonder, whatever. My new role on radio, I'm trying to figure out new ways to describe your runner, your teardrop, your... What do you call... Is it, do you have a name for it yet, by the way? Instead of baby goat, we're going to do baby float. Baby float? <laughs> baby float, we kind of work together. Yeah. Because we needed a name for that shot, right? Yeah, right. Were, uh, is, is, can that be a part of, of just what we refer to in your space. Yeah, yeah, for sure, baby float. Um, got to get to get back to the floater a little bit more often. Um, kind of got away from it, but can bring it back to baby float for sure. But what's that going to stick now? Yeah. There should be t-shirts and yeah. bumper stickers <laughs> That's and what I'm saying. I was waiting for the shirts. What's going on? <laughs> exactly. <laughs>new guys so you are a guy that people can turn to and go okay so how does this work around here you're still a young man but you're growing in your experience how are you developing in your view as a leader just trying to be more vocal i think it you know it comes with being comfortable and being around guys building a relationship with them you know knowing how to how to talk to each and every every teammate you know some guys react different than others so um just being able to you know know who i'm talking to and communicate with them you know what i need and what they may need and just trying to be you know as as good as a young leader as i can welcome back to inside the heat Tyler Hero has made it his mission to dive into the Miami community since his first day here. Through his foundation work in the city, he is changing lives and giving back in various ways, and he isn't stopping anytime soon. After dealing with a global pandemic this past summer, he was finally able to be back in person with the kids, and that's something he is grateful for. Like your shoes. Tyler, after the time we all had to rearrange our lives and work through pandemic living, we were able to kind of come out and this summer you were back in front of kids, really for the first time, giving back, teaching camps. How refreshing was it to actually be able to, as Shane Battier tells us all the time, touch the people? Yeah, um, it was amazing just being able to my first off season, you know, we were able to obviously put the work in, but you know, the, another important part of the brand and you know, off season was being able to give back, you know, go get into the communities. It feels good, you know, I get to, you know, be a role model for you guys and try to make you guys, you know, look up to me and you know, do do things the right way. I think it's extremely important, you know, just to get out of the house and you know, interact with, you know, their peers, you know, other kids that are their age and get a new experience. You know, I'm sure with all the great, you know, staff members, you know, we have here with the Heat, we're able to, they're able to learn a lot. Look. Tyler made sure to even take it a step further, expanding his reach with the youth during his foundation's first basketball camps in two very special places. Your team knows where to be, right? If you're going to have a Tyler Hero basketball camp, Milwaukee and Kentucky, yeah. like they're just, they're, they're busting at the seams, right? I mean, <laughs> they, they can't get enough of you. What inspired you to give back to those two cities? Being, you know, from Milwaukee, obviously I had to go back to my hometown and a lot of those kids look up to me and, you know, they're, I come from the same place as them. I mean, it all started, you know, at the place where we held the camp, which would just, you know, just show them that, you know, anything's possible. And then getting back to Lexington was important to me, you know, obviously being there for, you know, almost a year and just being able to give back. So that's what it's all about. That big blue nation sees you coming, boy. They, they get all riled up. <laughs> yeah. don't, you don't have to be humble about that one. As his foundation continues to grow, so does his footprint and his events. The T-Hero Foundation is dedicated to improving and inspiring the heroes of tomorrow. We pretty much just utilize our resources in regards to encouraging kids and trying to promote things, initiatives through wellness, physical play, and creativity. Today we're here at Gibson Park. We were doing a backpack giveaway along with helping with a food drive. I actually packed the backpacks. There's two notebooks, a ruler, you know, a binder, some pencils, and my cereal. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Two. There you go. Growing up for me, it was always, you know, just wanting to give back. You know, when I eventually had that platform, so that I have now. So just trying to inspire the youth throughout the city of Miami. It's very cool meeting a basketball player that I put on from a city. They all start with this. They all start in the community to make sure everybody get what they want. Anything I can do to, you know, get back in the community and help as much as I can, I love to do. Thank you, Sonny. And for Tyler, the holidays are always an opportunity he uses to be engulfed in his Miami community. This holiday season, you started things off great. You had your own Thanksgiving event, and yep. you're impacting families in that space. You're impacting families in this city where you live and work. And it was a family affair. Katya was there with you, and you're able to share that with her. What does that mean to you? It means, uh, you know, everything. Just trying to, like I said, give back with the platform that we have. Happy Thanksgiving. I want, you know, the city of Miami to know, you know, that we're not just basketball players. A lot of us, you know, love to give back and get into the communities and, and you know, really be a part of this whole city. So, you know, it meant a lot. What are some of the continued goals you have for growing the work you want to do? I just want to make this, uh, you know, an annual thing, you know, every single year, you know, we, we, we do Thanksgiving, back to school, Christmas, you know, some things in the summer, you know, the camps, just different things that we, we make annual every single year that, you know, fans and people in need can look forward to and they can really rely on us when the holiday seasons come around and you know, we want to be able to help and provide for families, you know, all year round. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Tyler Hero is on track in his third season to break various records for the Heat and in the NBA as well. He is developing into a primetime player, leading the second unit and being on the floor during crunch time when it matters most. We like to call it Tyler time. His motivation is simple. Do whatever it takes to win. Two on the shot clock. Tyler rises, fires, hits the three. Everybody on their feet. Tyler Hero is just that. Tyler Hero is Mr. Instant Offense off the bench. Tyler, you are primarily leading a bleat, a second unit for this team. How have you embraced this role, and, and what are your goals when you enter the game? I've embraced this, you know, the six-man role for what it is. You know, I, I feel like coming in off the bench as the first guy, I can – you know, be that spark off the bench. Hero from downtown. Come on. The igniter. Tyler Hero, the best off the bench scorer in the NBA this year. The ability to be able to, to handle, to make plays, uh, to be able to, to score at three different levels. Tyler checks uh, all those boxes uh, and he's young, so there's still, um, you know, great room for growth. Hero bouncing through. Well, you love the diversity in his offensive portfolio. Tyler's dynamic offense is one of the many pieces that create the Heat's effective second unit. Benson fires it left to Tyler, fires for three, and rips the net. Anyone on the bench, you know, feels like they can start. So at that point, we just try to come in and make sure that there's no drop off once that second unit gets in. Hero! Oh, talk about some Miami mash. We know all Tyler's gifts, so we know he's one of those dudes that can score. He's not backing down from anybody, and he'll take the challenge any day. You're out here breaking records. After seven games, you scored 157 points, which was the most a player coming off the bench has scored in NBA history. Oh, knocked away. Nice defense in there. Got it back and puts it in. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, what a shot by Hero. Young man has no fear. What does that mean to you? I mean, it's only seven games. It's, a, it's all right. It means it's it. the history of the league, man. <laughs> it's only seven we're games, We're celebrating though. 75 years. A lot of dudes yeah, right, have right, had right. that type of rip. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. But like I said, it's only seven games. And uh, we got a lot more games to play. All right, well, let's do some heat history. Let's see if this moves right. you at all. <laughs> you have the most 20-point games off the bench in heat history. Hero, 4-3. Tyler Hero, that, that young fella can do it all. 
the only player in Heat history to have two 30-point games off the bench so far, ever. No one's ever done that. I'm trying to move <laughs> R- Records mean something. I know it's probably when you're not playing, yeah. right? Which is a long way away. But it's gotta feel good to put an imprint on, on this logo. Yeah, not for sure. But I feel like my end goal isn't to be a, coming off the bench. Every day is to to get better, whatever records come with it, I guess. But at the end of the day, we want to set records as a starter. So I understand. For sure. Understand. You're exploding in this particular role. They <laughs> happen to hand out an award, by the way. Yeah. For the, for, the, for being the best six man in the yeah. league. Would you like to have it? No, definitely. I would love to have that. <laughs>The makeup to, to do what we did my rookie year. You know, I like our chances. We got the guys, the the experience, the you know great mix of veterans and, and young guys. Um, I think we can do it. Would you like to take the studio with you? I that's, think uh, that's the Dan, plan. We can, we can let him have it, right? That's the plan. You want to strap this right on the luxury vehicle and get this across the way? Yeah, that's the plan. His expectations for himself and his team are clear, and we know that Tyler Hero is determined to help his team reach the mountaintop once again. He has so much more to give to this organization and the city, and we're so lucky to be along for the ride. Thank you so much for joining us and enjoying this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson.